Hi Libra, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-June general reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Libra, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Libra, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person that you're dealing with in love, in romance, in relationships with right now. Libra, your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to find out to see who wins the pick a card, okay? Let's get right into this, Libra. Again, this is your mid-June general reading, okay? Thank y'all so much for all of your love and support. I feel like Every single sign reached out about my car accident, but I have like an overwhelming amount of responses, emails, DMs, all that kind of stuff. Like y'all found me and you reached out. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Y'all know I love you and adore you. And I definitely felt all of that reciprocated. So thank you. Moving forward, keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. If what I'm saying doesn't resonate, then it might not be your message. Check out your other placements, okay? Two more. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have going on for Libra? There's a shift right there. And it gave me chills down my back. What's going on? Oh, judgment. Oh, ascension. Oh, we're on next level stuff right now. Very good. This is These are huge decisions um, in every area of your life. You really checking in hardcore Libra looking at how do I feel about my own personal journey? How do I feel about my health? How do I feel about my relationships? How do I feel about my career path? It's like you're making huge decisions in all of these things so you can get to the next level. This is really, really good. Queen of Cups is right behind you. It could be about uh, relationships for some. But wow, this is big. Ascension energy, leveling up, leaving the old ways behind, really coming into a higher vibration here. Love that. Okay, let's get the uh, Celtic cross going. What's the uh, current current energy, current situation for Libra? She, there she is. There she is again. That's why they're like, look right behind, and then she came right out. Queen of Cups, your situation, relationship, love, emotional involvement with somebody. Okay, Three of Swords is here, so some of you could be um, you know, looking at some past pain here. Um, this is a court card. Some of you very much could be connecting with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. What's crossing this for Libra? The Eight of Wands. Okay, so some type of communication. So either opening up communication. Um, but for some of you, also Eight of Wands in the reverse. In a negative way, it can be maybe blocking off communication, not communicating with someone. Okay, whatever this is, it seems like a strength card energy here. Um, like, a, like a tough decision maybe. What's Libra's focus? Princess of Cups. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for some. Yeah, you're really like hot and heavy for someone or someone's hot and heavy for you. Um, Princess of Cups can be um, like new love for some. Um, it, she does represent here. She represents unconditional love, which is like where, what your focus is. Where is unconditional love in your life? You know, do you have that for yourself? How is that showing up in your life? Like that, like love is definitely on the mind, but it doesn't have to be romantic. It can also be the love I have for myself, the love I have for my family, for my friends, your other soulmates, right? What's been in the recent past for Libra? Okay, five of wands, six of pentacles. Okay, with a justice card, you. And in the six of pentacles is usually Libra energy too, even though it's an earth card. But yeah, I feel like you found some type of balance um, between you and someone or something having to do with five of wands, some type of conflict here. But I really feel like it was internal conflict because I don't see anybody here in this five of wands. So that means that this was some type of internal conflict that you were like kind of fighting yourself on something. Okay, that where you were out of balance, but now you put the scales back where they're supposed to be. That's your job anyways. That's who you are. What's crowning Libra? Seven of Wands, very much standing your ground, 
very much standing your ground, king of wands. Yeah, you're very passionate about like not giving up on something. Seven of wands is defensive energy, but in the crowning energy, it's like I have every good reason in the world to stand my ground. Other people might be coming at you, Libra, why are you doing this? Why are you talking to that person? Why are you doing that thing? And you're like, hey, listen guys, I don't have to give anyone an explanation. I know why I'm doing this and that's all that matters. And that is damn straight. <laughs> what is in the near future for Libra? It's not here, it's in the next one, thank you. What's in the near future for Libra? Nine of Swords. And we have the Moon card here. So I feel like you're you're a little like anxious about making a big change here. You're anxious about making a big shift or a big change. Okay, what's Libra's true power here in this position? What is Libra's power? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. I Ten of Swords. Yeah. And then three of pentacles, okay? What is hidden from Libra in their environment? What is hidden? Seven of swords, maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone who's a manipulator, Hierophant, maybe someone y'all are, maybe a Taurus for some, maybe someone you're in union with or committed to, possibly married for some, they've got a sword behind their back. They're telling you all these other things, but they're keeping something from you. And that's why that's hidden from you. We're gonna clarify all these uh, much deeper here in a moment. I'm still getting this spread out. Oh my, no wonder. It's like you're feeling, and I honestly feel like this hidden energy, there may be person for you. It's like, that's what's been causing all this conflict. Yeah, 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 I'm picking that up now. What are Libra's hopes and fears in this situation? What are Libra's hopes and fears? Thank you. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Okay, so a proposal, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Again, we have the queen, the, the page, and the knight here. We're just waiting on the king, basically. And then we have the whole Cups family, right? Which is water, not air. But still, we basically have the whole family here. And Libra, you in a cups energy is talking about, you know, your emotions or relationships again, okay? So your hope is romance, but also your fear is romance. Your hope is to be open and vulnerable with someone, and that's also your fear at the same time. What's the outcome here? Oh, Libra. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you, ki are you kidding me? Cho, it's okay. I'm so sorry. My dog's like, mom, what's going on? Y'all got in the outcome, Libra. You get the king and queen of swords of your own suit, your own sign, the king and queen, the masculine and the feminine of your own. It doesn't have to be Libra and Libra, but this is a match. This is a match. This is a match. This is a truth here. Holy wow. With the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck, who is this? Who are you? Oh my God. Wow. Ten of Pentacles behind you. Oh, wow. This is getting really good. And then the Four of Pentacles because you two have worked on some healthy boundaries. You've worked out some boundary work. Bottom of the deck, my loves, Libra, is the Ace of Cups, right? Pretty much completing that family there for the most part. <laughs> Um, so I do feel like there's a progression here. Okay. Love is on the mind for sure. Your match, your person. Okay. It doesn't have to be again, romantic. It could be you and a match as in a friend. You and a friend could have been, you know, maybe butting heads, having conflict, however this applies to you. Also could be a family member. Um, please don't come at me like, oh, that it's not love. Okay. Anyways, but I'm sorry. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is love. This is a new beginning. Could be a new person for some or reconciliation. All right. Um, outcome, we're do, we see the divine masculine, the divine feminine in swords energy, knowing what they want. Swords energy is what? I know my truth. I'm able to speak my truth. I know what I want. I don't settle for less. And that's my vibration. And you are completely matching to someone in that vibration in the outcome. Congratulations. I mean, I've literally never seen an outcome like that ever, I don't think. Or at least not in a very long time that I can remember. 
Let's break this down. Let's go back to the beginning and look at your Queen of Cups energy. She represents love, nurturing yourself, nurturing the relationship, the want to be in a relationship. Libras do amazing in relationships, okay? Y'all are ruled by Venus, which is, I, I feel like that's why y'all get a lot of Cups cards a lot in your um, readings is because of that reason. But why is the Queen of Cups here for Libra? Five of Cups. Emotional disappointment, hurt feelings, um, communication from a distance for some. Because the Eight of Wands is also going to be your crossing energy, right? So it's going to be about some type of quick communication. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Okay, Magician flew himself in the upright here. So this is... Um, you know, you've called in this situation, whatever it is, two of wands in reverse. There's been a delay on you taking some type of new chapter in your life, Libra. Um, I feel like if you're, you've been with someone, a friend, maybe a romantic partner, okay, where you ha have had the Ten of Pentacles, you have it all, maybe all live together, you have, you know, your own careers or that kind of like full union energy. I feel like you're manifesting, you know, as above, so below, like some type of new situation here, like a rebirth of that. Um, but some of you want 10 of pentacles in reverse here on, in a relationship is a nine of pentacles. Someone wants possibly out, but I, I can't say that just yet. Five of cups is really like, you're really sad and disappointed and like crying, um, about this person or about the situation but as soon as you kind of turn around there's two of cups right behind you okay so i really feel like you've been really let down disappointed and you're hurt about a particular person or bond that you have with someone and you just are like crying like upset and they are too i feel them very sad disappointed kind of energy i don't know why i'm flipping this card now um okay uh eight of wands here and that's a that's a communication card okay um, it's like a social media card where y'all are talking back and forth, like on the phone, um, texting, sexting maybe. It can be very passionate, okay? Um, energy here or, or communication. Why is the Eight of Wands crossing Libra? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What is this Eight of Wands for Libra? Why is it crossing? Nine of Wands in reverse. Two Nines in reverse. Very interesting. Why is the Eight of Wands here and the Two of Swords? Four of Cups in reverse. Libra, the more communication that you like receive from this person, I feel like it is helping you realize that um, there's something about you going off on your own journey here. And that doesn't mean for everyone you're going to separate from someone or like leave something drastically. But I do feel like with these two nines in reverse, like you've been stuck on this like energy for a while. Four of cups in reverse is saying that, yeah, you've been stuck in this energy for a while. You've been wanting an ace of cups moment, which is here, but you haven't been able to see the truth just yet, either about this person or about the situation, but you are receiving the communication about it. They want one more on this star card this is a part of your destiny aquarius energy ace of cups in reverse it's like you feel something big around the corner and you might not know just what it is but you know wherever you've been in the recent it's been very disappointing it's very been very disheartening so you've been working your way out of this magician energy you've been working your way using all those beautiful skills that you have built with inside of you to i'm hearing get yourself out of this um, okay, let's look at your Princess of Cups here. Death in reverse um, could be connecting with a Scorpio. Why is the Princess of Cups here? Queen of Swords in reverse. There's your Four of Cups showing up again um, in reverse. So I do feel the energy of someone's having a hard time giving up. Either you're having a hard time giving up on someone, someone's having a hard time giving up on you. Someone like can't stop either thinking about you with this Queen of Swords. That's what I'm picking up on. Someone thinks about you kind of obsessively. And you, but it's the same. It's like, this is your energy though. You think about them. 
but this is of someone of the past and you're trying to keep yourself open for something new, but something's kind of boggling you from the past, some type of connection with this person that's preventing you from taking a leap of faith with something new. Yeah. Why has the five of wands been in the recent past for Libra? Hierophant in reverse. Your belief systems have changed. You've, you've done a lot of work on yourself and you've grown and expanded. Um, so there's a lot of conflict coming up because you're uncomfortable with where you're at. Again, why is the Six of Pentacles here in the recent past for Libra? Thank you. You got out of your head. Eight of Swords in reverse. You, you know... You know, you were in some shallow waters here in the recent past, very stuck, very getting in your head. I can't make a decision here because when I think about this thing, I think about, well, then what would they say? And then what would that person say? And then what would I do? And then what would that perspective be? And then da, 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 so much so that we just don't move or make a decision. It's in reverse now, which means we're breaking those chains. We're coming out of those old ways. For a lot of you, Libra, excuse me, you're coming out of a lot of just overall very traditional energy and you're really opening yourself up to um, very untraditional energy, like you're being very um, exploratory in relationships. You're being very exploratory with yourself, and I love that. You're being very creative right now in regards to problem solving. I'm very proud of you. Why is the Seven of Wands in your crowning energy? Seven of Wands in reverse, okay? So you are coming out of that like the world's against me kind of vibe. Like, is everything that's happening against me, you know? Like, that's been been the vibe, but you're like, no, everything's working for me. Some of you are working on some law of attraction kind of energy where you're learning how to, if you have some invasive thoughts, let me catch it, let me see it, let me change the script, let me put on some good music, let me, like, shake it off and start saying some positive mantras. Definitely, definitely some Libras I'm connecting with are doing such a great job in getting out of that defensive energy where our walls are up and everyone's against us. No, everyone's not against us. The universe is not against you. The universe is working for you in your favor if you can just see it that way. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Libra? Ace of Wands. You're inspired. You're sparked up. You're inspired. Two of Cups. Someone's on your mind. Someone's on your mind. Two of Cups. Um, why is the Nine of Swords here in the near future for Libra? Oh, they're making you nervous. This could be your Divine Masculine coming in. In work and career, you could be really nervous about taking more responsibility at work. That's coming in too. Some of you are getting um, more responsibility, like a boss, job, um, bump up kind of thing. But it would come with more money for sure. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay, Wheel of Fortune flipped itself around. So this is about positive karma. Things moving forward, not being stuck in the past. Very good. Yeah, Four of Swords. Again, I feel like it's just kind of hard. Someone's really reworking their like mental energy here. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Again, I do feel Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands over here, Her Herophant in reverse. Some of you Libra are leaving some type of relationship or higher level of commitment. And it kind of scares you because you're like, yeah, I'm going to go off and be single again. And I don't want to do that because... I'm, I already have this thing, but this thing isn't working for you because it's been too comfortable and you're not being pushed to your best self. And it's not that this person is bad or it's not that this, whatever, this job is bad, but something, the energy, the place, the person that you've been in has been causing so much conflict and disrupting your internal peace that you know that your peace and your health and your love for yourself comes first and foremost. So you're making a big, bold decision. Yeah, you might have to go out in the cold on your own for a little bit. Hey, I've done it. It's hard. It's okay. It's all right. You know, but you are coming into this like really beautiful place of knowing what I want, having a plan, knowing that your beautiful karma that you've already put into everything, your good intentions are going to always play out to your favor, right? And with the four of swords, you don't see what's coming yet, your gifts and blessings, but they are on their way, okay? Your power here is the 10 of swords. I literally, in a Libra reading, I don't know if I've seen this in your position and I'm so, I know this is hard for you, but for y'all to literally like put something down and walk away and get out of that people pleaser energy, I can't be more proud. Couldn't be more proud. Couldn't be more proud. Ten of Swords, why is this here for Libra? Boom, judgment, yes. 
next level, next level. Yes, it's like you're telling yourself, I'm not going to continue to lower my levels, to sacrifice certain parts of myself, walk on eggshells with certain people to make them feel comfortable. No, 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 no. You have such a strong light and you've been literally like holding yourself back. Right, because say, say for example, you've been in a relationship. You're like, yeah, well, I'm in a relationship and I'm good in a relationship, so I'm just gonna be here because it's comfortable. Well, guess what? Now you're realizing that other things in your life are keeping moving forward and you're having more ideas and you wanna do this and that and the other and the third, but what's holding you back, right? You gotta look at what's holding you back and you know what it is now and you're moving up. I'm, yeah, King of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, it's gonna be emotional. You're gonna have to really open up emotionally here. And I feel like that's why that's in your fear position. Some of y'all are terrified to be um, uh, emotionally vulnerable here. Then you're when if you're if you're if you're terrified to be emotionally vulnerable with someone, then you're with the wrong person. You're with the wrong friend. You're with the wrong lover. You're with the wrong family. Like you know what I mean? Like my for example, my like Smith family. Like I love them, but they're not my soul family. Like my soul family are you guys. My soul family are you know, the people who I connect with, who've been through traumas like I have, who have, who have turned into light workers or who, who are here to help and, and, and share our hard experiences to grow and learn, expand from them. And then to freaking ascend, not stay in that trauma. It's to ascend. It's to move up and to help others move up, which is also such a Libra energy. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, Libra. <laughs> Let's just take a quick coffee break. Cheers. Never settle, never settle. <laughs> Why is the seven of swords hidden in your environment? I felt very sassy. <laughs> Why is the seven of swords here for Libra in their hidden environment? lovers today literally is the new new moon gemini eclipse total eclipse of the heart <laughs> king of pentacles oh my oh my it could be a you're a libra it could be a gemini that y'all are dealing with for some of you um and someone's got a secret now that's what i'm picking up someone's told you all their truths but their secret their their sore behind their back is I see you as my partner, Libra. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> so who's the Seven of Swords? I'm sorry, what is the Seven of Swords? Um, they would take it in the upright, uh, Eight of Pentacles. Very good, this is someone, um, regardless of the sign, they've been working on their craft. They've been mastering their energy, mastering who they are, okay? This person's been putting a lot of work into thyself. <laughs> What is this seven of swords hidden for Libra? Thank you. Three of wands in reverse. This person or situation has been on delay after delay after delay after delay, right? Ace of swords in reverse. Either you or them are in denial about what this is, right? Or about what this connection is here. And we're going to see what that is in the outcome because this is air energy. This is Gemini energy and you're Libra. But in the outcome, we have the king and queen of swords. We have a divine masculine, divine feminine. Why is the Knight of Cups in y'all's hopes and fears? King, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands, Sun card. Queen of Pentacles. So you're definitely matching someone's energy with the two queens for sure. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Libra? Uh, chariot okay it kind of wanted to come out it was trying to turn itself in the upright it's like they I never hardly do this but they want me to read it on its side so this is telling me that yeah you can move forward or you can stay stuck or stagnant where you've been okay Libra you can get in your car and you can move forward and you can get out of this stagnant energy of feeling stuck like god is this going anywhere 
You know what I mean? Or you can stay there if that's what's comfortable for you, right? But again, one of the two of you is Ace of Swords in reverse, not really seeing the full truth here. Okay, we, we do see y'all matching your energy again in the regards to y'all are both on the same level and queens, not that y'all are both female, can be, um, but y'all are both showing up in a strong feminine energy. Your hope and fear, your hope here is, is for this to be someone that you can trust and be vulnerable with, someone that you can have fun with, very like Sagittarius energy with this Queen of Wands today, like someone that you can like get up and be adventurous with, but also someone who like understands you, understands who you are, someone who's very like nurturing towards you, just how you're nurturing towards others. It's like you really want to be seen and heard fully for exactly who you are and accepted completely fully for who you are. And that seems like very vague in general, but I feel like who you've been dealing with or what you've been dealing with, it's like, I feel like you're, I'm hearing again, your creativity has been lost recently because of whatever this is. But you getting back in this queen of, of wands energy is like putting you back in that creative energy here, okay? So I do feel like you can move forward with this person, but it takes both of y'all being honest about your emotions, okay? And really seeing the truth of what this connection really is. All right, let's clarify the king and queen of swords. I'm gonna get one of them together and then I'm gonna see if we need to separate them. What is this king and queen of swords together as the outcome for Libra? Eight of cups, page of pentacles, king of swords. Yeah, y'all been maybe not emotionally available for each other in the past or one or the other. Um, but y'all are learning. Page of Pentacles is telling me y'all are learning how to king of swords this. You're learning how to truly speak up, speak your truth without fear, without fear of losing something. You know, like, hey, how can I say that something's bothering me without, you know, knowing I'm going to hurt the other person's feelings? You can't. You're going to hurt people's feelings. Too bad, Libra. You know what I mean? Like, that's what y'all have to get over. You're going to hurt people's feelings. Too bad. But you sacrifice yourself too much and hurt your own feelings and hold your own self back because you're sometimes too much of a people pleaser. Stop it. What's up with this? We got the king twice. What's up with the queen? Why is the queen of swords here? Knight of, of pentacles in reverse. Full card in reverse. There is a communication to someone that something's completely over. Anything else on that queen of swords? Some, some type of something is here uh, that's over, sun card. Yeah, there's a full card again. Um, there's some type of communication of there's been something that's been a long, you've been dealing with it for a long time and that's done and that's bringing you the sun card. I don't know if that's another person, if that was a third party for some. Anything else on this king of swords? Why is he here twice? Okay, nine of cups. So yeah, this is someone's wish. This is someone's dream here. This is definitely a wish fulfillment. Why is this ace of cups here for Libra? Devil, oh my God. Someone's literally obsessed with you, like super obsessed. Oh my God, in the tower. This person's like super waiting to like communicate this to you. What is this ace of cups? Let's get another one, or one or two more. Ace of Cups for Libra, Five of Wands. This is back in your past energy. Okay, we have the Hermit here. Uh, and there's the Eight of Wands back again. Okay, so again, it, it, this is telling me that there could be reunion and, and work, working this out with this person. Um, y'all are very similar is what I'm picking up with this Five of Wands again. And when y'all are too similar, that's definitely telling me that it could be a twin, a twin flame. That's not going to be for everybody. It could be some twin flamey energy here. Um, this person definitely is obsessed with you for sure. They could be a Capricorn, Virgo energy. Um, high communication here with the Eight of Wands happening again. Okay, Libra, very intense reading. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm super proud of all the gains that you've been making and, and the progress that you've been making in this situation. Okay. Um, for those of you that want to join the love reading, that's where we get the other person's perspective and love that you're dealing with. Okay. That reading is the first link in the description box below. If you'd like to join that one. Okay. 
Let's do the pick a card, please. Drum roll, please. The Libra that won the pick a card this time is Janet Burgos. Janet Burgos. You are my winner. So Libra, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. That's all that it takes for me to possibly pick you next time. I pick y'all completely at random as just my way to give back and say thank you for all of your love and support on my channel. All right. Hi, Janet. How are you? I almost said, hey, it's Jacqueline. Like, obviously, you know that. Hey. <laughs> Uh, we've got three more. Janet, what's going on with Janet? Spirit, what do we have for Janet Burgos, Libra Energy? Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Janet Burgos? Spirit, what is it that Janet needs to hear, see, or know at this time? Okay, Janet, you have the moon card at the bottom of the deck. There seems to be um, a lot of emotion, some really deep emotions um, going on with you right now. Um, I definitely feel emotional release, act excuse me, actually with you. Very good. I feel like you're coming out of kind of a dark place a little bit and coming into the light. Um, you could be connecting also with a Pisces or Cancer. Janet Burgos. Two of Pentacles, you have way too much on your plate, my love. Way too much going on. Ooh, Ace of Cups, maybe that's why. Something new has struck you. Yes, maybe someone offered you a relationship with that Queen of Cups energy. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Whoa, whoa, we don't like the Seven of Swords. That is not good. Ooh, with the Magician, super manipulative. Careful, careful, careful. Seven of Cups, star card. Um, star card stays, thank you. Okay, so Janet, there's definitely something new going on here. Um, I do feel like actually, actually I'm feeling like you have a lot on your plate and you get kind of hit on, you get a, a romantic, like a love offer and that helps you come out of kind of that dark place is what I'm, I'm picking up. Like not fully really like a rebound, right? But I feel like, yeah, someone's got your attention. Some, there's some type of emotional connection with someone um, that's helping you move out of some type of overwhelming energy of being stuck in your past a little bit. So it's like kind of a, a little bit of a happy distraction. And that's why the Seven of Swords here is here. Um, seven and seven is a five, which is like a warning card, which is about because seven and seven is 14, one and four is five, okay? Um, that is double sevens. It's, it's a warning, not like bad, but just like be cautious because in the seven of cups, not all that glitters is gold. Half the thing in these cups are really good for you, but some of them are not. And it's up for you. It's up to you to use your best discernment and intuition to know, you know, which one of these cups are going to be kind of not fully telling you the whole truth and which ones are okay. Um, but I do feel like you have some really, really cool options going on right now. Um, in regards to new people, meeting new people, one of them could really could be a love, uh, love interest. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Janet? Five of Swords, Temperance. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. I'm thinking that this is someone that you might know from work or some type of situation there that you've been waiting on, but they might have been involved with somebody else and it's like maybe they broke up or something and then they're coming to you. So maybe, I don't want to say this fully, but be careful that you're the rebound. Be careful if you're the rebound for somebody. And I'm, I'm feeling hardcore confirmation like that's why you, you got this reading, is that you need to know, be very careful if you've been waiting for someone, be careful that you're not a rebound. Be careful that you're not a rebound. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Janet? Six of Wands. 
Mm-hmm. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Janet? Four of Wands. Um, this person is, has a very fun personality who you're coming into contact with. Um, they like to blow you up like, hey, what's up? What are we doing tonight? Like, let's go have fun. Or like, that's like their very like fun personality. Um, but this person, what they're lying to you about is they're still hung up on someone from their past. Someone who maybe they just broke up with, someone they might have been married to. This person, even though they might say to you, yeah, I'm single or yeah, I'm whatever. And they might really be single, um, but like energetically, they're definitely still hung on to um, four of wands. Someone that they were in like a commitment union relationship with, potentially married to. Or that could be you. But I feel like this is them. I'm picking up more of a masculine energy. Why is the seven of cups here for Janet? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I do see you kind of like separating from something and going off on your own. And that's been what's going on. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Janet? Yeah, Three of Swords. Five of Cups. Lover's card. So I do feel like you're exploring your options after some type of heartbreak, loss. Um, of somebody here. I do feel like you're coming out of a relationship, to be honest. And yeah, you've got options around you, but you're like not really excited about it. One of those options, be again, be very careful. It's not that they're a bad person, but I just don't want you to get taken advantage of. I mean, I know Libra energy very well. It's very similar to Pisces energy. We get taken advantage of all the time because we're so sweet and sensitive. It's really disheartening. <laughs> um, so I just don't want that to happen to you. Ugh, sorry. Um, no, that's way too much. What's the advice here for you? What's advice for Janet? What's the advice for Janet from Spirit? Thank you, thank you, Spirit. Stand in your worth. You've got the King of Pentacles. You're worth it all. Don't settle for less. Do not settle for anyone who's going to waste your time. Who's not on the has the same. Um, uh, don't be with someone who doesn't share the same value systems as you. Is what I'm hearing. Okay, yeah, Nine of Wands here. I know your walls are up right now. Um, I definitely feel like you've been through a lot recently, um, but it's not going to last for long because then you have the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Fool card. In very, very short time, you're going to come out of this Knight of Wands of feeling kind of overwhelmed by all of these challenges you've just been through, right? Again, your advice is King of Pentacles energy. It's masculine energy to know that I'm going to let things come to me and I'm going to be um, standing in my worth, not settling for less, Okay. I've never ever seen this. They said, look at his, look at this card closer. He's got a, a foot on this like head, this like, I don't know what this is. I hope you can see it. He's got his foot on this head here. And that's telling, that message is saying like, don't be afraid to stand your ground. Don't be afraid to like speak up. Even if you need to like hurt someone else's feelings, this is about your life. Okay. All right, Janet, that's what I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all dearly and I will catch y'all next time.